Next topic is uh, Dr. Uh, Rakova is going to replace uh, the, the speaker, Dr. Gilles, about uh, the osteolysis of uh, this cervical disc prosthesis. Uh, there is uh, no critical point of view about uh, uh, anterior bone loss in uh, meta-analysis. And uh, adverse events uh, which, uh, with uh, disc arthroplasty are well known, ISD, kyphosis, debris, osteolysis, migration, subsidence, and so on. Here is a typical case of uh, anterior bone loss at uh, three months follow-up, see, and the same at 12 months follow-up. Uh, anterior bone loss uh, has recently been recognized as a complication of uh, CDA. Uh, AO uh, related 60% uh, um, of uh, ABL in a series of uh, 48 uh, Bagger assay atroplasty. Uh, here is a technique of measuring anterior bone loss with uh, immediately the anterior, posterior, and uh, at the uh, follow-up. Implant uh, e coverage is uh, defined as uh, two millimeter, as more two millimeters than uh, implant uh, exposition. And uh, implant subsidence has uh, more five, uh, more five degrees of kyphotic change, or two millimeter of eyelets, eye loss. Uh, anterior bone loss uh, was classified in uh, four groups. Uh, you see, mild, moderate. Severe without collapse and severe with collapse. Here is a typical case of a multi level CDA uh, showing the natural history of uh, ABL. You see, a pair at uh, before three months, at three three months, and uh, you have a ribbon uh, formation at six years. There are no uh, subsidence and no unconverge of the implant. A case of moderate. The coverage of the implant uh, is uh, moderate, and the implant remains stable. Severe with collapse. The um, IBL uh, occurred uh, within the three months before operation and uh, uh, follow a bending course with a ribbon of uh, formation, a ribbon of uh, bone formation after one year. Uh, severe with collapse. The bone uh, stuck uh, held in a uh, collapsed position uh, with or uh, without function, uh, mechanical function of this prosthesis. The series 185 CDA with uh, Brian unconstrained, ball and socket, and uh, semi constrained. IBL occur in 64% uh, of uh, CDA, 49 mile, 12 moderate, and only 3% uh, of severe. Uh, IBL start at uh, three months follow up. There are no cases of progressive IBL beyond the first year, and no implants were revised. Uh, we observe um, IBL 
on all prothesis, but only severe uh, ABL on uh, discoserb. Uh, the upper implant is uh, more commonly involved. Multi-level uh, CD increase the risk of IBL and increase the risk of severe IBL. There is no influence on the long-term range of motion, but uh, IBL increase the risk of uh, spontaneous fusion. Uh, there are no correlations. There is no correlation between uh, degree of IBL and uh, clinical outcomes. Etiology, um, natural story with uh, weird debris or uh, low grad infection uh, is not consistent. Uh, avascular necrosis, but uh, a robun of both formation does not occur. Resection of the lac of the IL, uh, anterior longitudinal ligament with a lack of uh, traction on the vertebral back. Probably the etiology is biomechanic with uh, stress shielding. Uh, for each um, cervical segment, the uh, main central of rotation are located uh, downward. Here you see the consequences of modification of uh, mean center of rotation and uh, uh, the cause of uh, failure. Here is a um, prosthesis uh, with uh, two uh, articulated component and one uh, spherical surface. Uh, mean center of rotation is downward and uh, it's okay for the facet. On coronal plant, the anatomy of the incus impose uh, center of rotation upward and uh, now there is no prosthesis with a uh, uh, MCR downward in frontal, uh, in sagittal plan and uh, upward in frontal plan. No correlation with uh, age, sex, post-operative alignment, range of movement, but uh, the greater the number of level operators, the higher the risk of developing IBL. In conclusion, IBL is common. He start early within three months and follow a non-progressive uh, course with a, a stable uh, radiographic, radiographic feature after one year. There is no correlation with the clinic outcomes. Thank you.